so what is service now so first first things comes to our mind is let's take an example of an gmail or a whatsapp which we are using daily uh, facebook or whatever so what 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 is there so that particular uh, whatsapp or facebook or gmail is hosted on some particular server that is on the cloud platform what is that again the cloud platform it means that we can access it from all around the world whether it is from india whether it is from abroad anywhere we can access those gmail those whatsapp those facebook with a internet connectivity correct same way service now service now is also a cloud based platform where anyone can use that from their mobile devices from their pcs from anywhere across the india with their credentials so why we need service now so service now is something which is hosted on a cloud means it is working on a cloud based platform like google google is having his own cloud amazon is having his own cloud same way service now is using his own cloud where we will manipulate the data whatever the data which we are going to get from the client or whether we are going to get from the user customer uh, you itself you are creating your own data that will be stored in the service now and we are playing with it we are just manipulating with it so service now sits on some of the layers which we will be talking Uh, in the cloud so is something like you can access it from anywhere across the world with any devices which has internet support and uh, android or ios so we have a mobile version of service now as well we have the desktop version of service now as well so this is how service now comes to the market earlier we have cloud computing in the market we have amazon cloud we have google cloud so service now comes to picture because most of the thing like incident is raised like you have a internet connectivity you will call the customer service that okay my internet is not working from few days so the how this all have automated through service now like you will raise a incident and it will assign to some group same way like you are calling the airtel vendor or any vendor like my internet is not working same way you are creating an incident you are assigning to some group and they will resolve your issue so earlier it used to be a ticketing tool where people used to raise the tickets now service now is not limited to tickets you can create your own custom application you can create your own mobile application you can create your own website in this case website is called service portal where you will uh, like flipkart you amazon you add your uh, um, things to the cart and you are ordering it ordering it same way you can create your own cart here using catalogs you can create your own integration you can communicate between service now to service now this all i can show them in the upcoming classes uh, if one data is created in one system how you will get the data in another system so this is not only limited to ticketing tool yeah but now we have hr onboarding and offboarding of resources like if you join some new organization you will get automated mail uh, that you are joining date or something something the processes will be very smooth so all that will be hosted on service now that will make the life easier that's why people will uh, or the organization is going towards service now because without writing a single line of code you can do the integrations you can create a, a portal for you you can create a cart for you so it is making developers or organization life very easier to manipulate with the data so am i clear why we need service now why why service now exist with a non it background it background just a simple word i have, i am just telling you service now is something where you will manipulate your data data is nothing but whatever you are storing there on a cloud based platform it means that you can use it from anywhere across the world whether you are sitting at your home or whether you are sitting at your organization or whether you are sitting across india or abroad you can access those instances those url those hyperlinks through your devices without fail so that's why it is hosted over the cloud why service now that's what i am telling you without writing a single suppose you are uh, let's talk about java so some companies using angular js some companies using java based on requirement so you have to write a lot of code to to achieve one website so what happen here is service now has provided us out of the box facility where without using much of coding or without using none coding you can create your own portal in the same way which other background people are doing like dot net java javascript so you can customize it in your own way without writing a single piece of code and this is very fast this is very effective 
like uh, you are going to you can see a real time experience like if you if you created a variable called cart or you are you have added something in the cart you can see that you can visualize okay if i i am doing this it is going to add in the cart so this all will be visualized uh, in the service now and on top of that it is very cost effective so it's like uh, and a time uh, time management is very good in service now. so you will be creating a website in a day which will take uh, more than 4 or 5 days so everything is in place you need to do that stuff some part coding is required because uh, here also some part of javascript is needed as per the client requirement if client needed uh, too much of complexity in their website to be designed then uh, we we have to use coding but yeah if a non it people is there if it people is there they can create their own catalog they can create you you can create your own mobile application just think about android applications okay so android uses java so we need to do lot of coding android coding java coding itself in the android studio but in service now you can create your own mo mobile application using drag and drop i want this data to be display here i want this as a form as i want this as a list so whatever you can do it yourself you can create your own application where you can do the changes that will be reflected to your instance so yeah and the future is uh, like uh, i can show you what is the future in the coming slide uh, about how the stock graph is going for service now from the last 10 decades so so it will make your life easy simple you don't need to do anything you if you need to move some uh, legacy to your service now if you your your organization using legacy to service now, only you need to move the configuration item from update set that's it everything will be migrated from one instance to another so what cloud uh, the first topic what is cloud service which i told you so you can see this image here we have uh, storage we have okay. devices we have security we have application development everything will be stored in the cloud nowadays so what is this cloud services so it will provide a wide range of services like i told you a service now is not only limited to ticketing tool where people will raise a ticket uh, internet connectivity is not there or uh, lan outages or van outages whatever so it's not like that we have lot of things in the cloud now we have uh, security as well where you are doing the payment gateway if you are paying something from on, on online using your debit card you will see a payment gateway page this all are hosted over the cloud where otp will come correct so that is security the otp is into in secured where it is secured it is secured in the cloud one will be at your uh, phone end at and uh, one one is at your merchant end so in between there is no middleware if there is a middleware then uh, your otp will be hacked so to avoid this that's why it is hosted over the cloud to achieve maximum security so directly you are getting the otp from the merchant and you are using that otp so there is a less chances of uh, Uh, otp hacking so that's why everything now is hosted over the cloud even even what even you you are adding anything in the cart and you will see if you are scrolling instagram and you will see the same picture which you are getting uh, what you have seen on the flip cart so this all are cache this all are stored over the cloud so cloud has not only limited to one particular thing but it has a uh, lot of things like development merchants communication web services digital marketing security so backups like you have a google photo backups these all are stored over the cloud you can go to any places and you can just use the cybernet and you can get your photos from there from google photos just log in into the gmail credentials so how this happening these all are happening because we have provided storage to the cloud same way service now is using cloud and your data will be stored there in the same way like service now provide you security admin access non admin access your credentials your password everything will be stored on the service now so it will provide you better speed what i can say so um like 10 gbps is the speed achieved in india and 100 plus gbps speed up, across abroad so uh, it's a big picture big number 10 gbps speed per downloading uh, once we are going to the service now instance and uh, yeah so what is a good benefit of this is you have to pay company and organization will pay they will buy a part of cloud for their organization so that they will be using that particular uh, what do you call that that particular storage for their organization like 
in your organization there are hundred of people so where that data is stored have you ever think uh, so that data is stored over some cloud so they have buy it from somewhere else so instead of that now company shifting to service now so all the data will be stored there so in the tables and the columns so that i will discuss what is tables and columns uh, once we start with the real time topics so this is what uh, cloud services are so if you see uh, basically cloud services are of three types saas pass and infrastructure as a service so software as a service as i talked earlier gmail so this cloud provides software as a service gmail whatsapp salesforce dropbox uh, google talk google meet these all are the software which you have installed over your devices this comes under software as a service this comes with your login credentials this comes with your license this comes with your uh, subscription so this is this all comes in the cloud platform now where service now stands now service now we stand at the platform as a service because it provide you the platform where you will be developing that softwares where you will be developing that mobile application so on platform you are developing saas so that's why it uh, is comes under platform example window azure and service now is also there so uh, and is uh studio where you you deal with android studio where you deal with your uh, android coding so that's all sit under black pass label it's a platform as a service so it provide you the platform it provide you the bench or it provide you the workspace where you will be creating your own custom applications custom uh, what do you call custom website custom modules for your organization based on the requirement so you can relay, you can create your own application using tools that's why it pro, service now sits here so if anyone ask you where service now sits it is at the platform level where we are developing the softwares and the last is infrastructure so as i told you amazon rack space so these earlier they used to provide uh, cloud based services like e e2 c is the amazon cloud company will buy that particular cloud for their companies and they will use that for storing the data security data or their in personal information now this ias is now shifted to pass like company will use their own platform and they will build the data so here it is what it happening so ias is a type of cloud service that offer essential so same way which i explain you it will provide the storage and the cloud storage so this is what uh, infrastructure service is so basically you need to focus on platform as a service and uh, you can create your own application what application you can create any application which is uh, relevant to your uh, client which is relevant to your organization you can create your own application and uh, software service you know this is what gmail whatsapp so this all you can create using pass so it will provide you the platform so this is what service now is which i have already explained so service now is not only limited to itsm itsm is nothing but incident which i told you incident change problem so incident which is happening day to day life like you have a network storage error or a database error and if that error is happening each and every day that be, will become a problem so you are going to raise a problem ticket so same way service now is not only limited if you see this service now is not only itsm tool but uh, it has a change management it has knowledge management now they have introduced portfolio management where you are designing the portfolio for your project especially this this comes for the business analyst which they used to do itbm it business management so how they are going to deal with the sprints backlogs um, what do you call it? story point story creation demand management so service now has not limited itself to one field now they have lot of fields currently uh, hr is on top itsm is on top grc on the top so governance is this and compliance like if you see sbi and pnb banks now they have shifted themselves to uh, service now grc where they will do the risk analysis of the customers and uh, upcoming security benefits they now they are shifting it to grc and uh, they are just moving it to the agile development model not 
the basic legacy which they used to have from last uh, 20 years now they have shifted their points if you get some banking project in your organization from world bank or uh, walmart so definitely you will be using service now for sure there they are what you will be using you will be using some particular models of itsm and grc security secops so it will automate it very well it's a is a best way to automate your uh, system to to third party using service now so in service now you will be able to learn lot of stuffs there is a great future of service now i am telling you so it was first introduced in 2004 so from 2004 to 2021 this graph goes exponentially so from 0 to 100 it's went like anything so because earlier it used to be the itsm tool i agree earlier people only used to lock tickets and the tickets was getting assigned to some assignment group where the some person will be assigned and that ticket is going to resolve and you will get the email back so now it is different you can create your you can write your own way you can you can customize your whole system in your own way that also i will show you how we can create an incident how it is assigned to assignment group these are all the basics that uh, as a admin or as a developer everyone should know so this is what service now was now who uses service now so if you see this exam example uh, of emails here so as a end user so i am a customer and i want something to be developed by the developers or the i will uh, go to the organization i will ask okay this need to be developed so as a end user i will be using as a employee i will be using uh, your manager will be using your organization will be using administrator you will be using so it is not only limited to one person from junior developer to senior developer from junior admin to senior admin even the managers even for maintaining the portfolios of the project like manager needs only the data or the report of data the databases dashboard reports so these all can be maintained using service now so employees it support admin if you are developers and then these two things admin admin and implemented implementer and developer this three comes to your queue so you you as admin you have you have to do the stuff as a developer you have to do the stuff as a implementer like you are implementing one catalog from end to end i can show you in the upcoming classes a simple catalog how you are going to create how this workflows from uh, one step to another step how the approval are designs everything so these three come for developer and other like scrum master tester developer architect business analyst project manager so everyone can use service now there is a no change that uh, no no one can use it. even if you are a junior developer or non it background you can go to the service now website you can create your own profile and you can use from there from scratch and you can learn lot of stuff so yeah it's not limited to one person it has lot of scope for testers as well as developers even for the project managers even for the ceo sometime they need the entire system data then they can fetch it from the dashboard so something like that so you can use that you can create your own dashboard itself you can create your own widgets pages also you can create so just a learning if you can learn better you can create your create lot of stuff now going back to the next i see if you see in from uh, 2012 to 2020 i don't have the data of 2021 currently so you can see the growth is like exponentially in billions so 4.43 billions uh, in 2020 it was uh, achieved by service now the, the total revenue generated from a single uh, source or uh, providing the platform only the platform so you can see the graph so you can see the future of service now in the next 10 decades also it is not going to is is will be like this only because earlier bmc remedy tool was there service now when service now comes to market it has replaced entire bm bmc few of the organization are using bmc remedy tool but now it has now shifted to service now so you can see the graph from seeing the graph you can uh, see the clear picture it was taken on 26 june on uh, this one this stock 4 400 approx now it is um 600 or uh, 4 500 i don't know this remember i don't remember this number 
but yeah so this now is a use 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 market and it is going to be the it it will it will be the boom in the next 10 decades you can see now uh, due to this pandemic most of the people are shifting to service now most of the organization are serving uh, serving for service now searching for service now so if you see any platform like nokri monster.com or linkedin if you search service now you will see a lot of job profiles there for admin developers for hr so you can just think how service now is how service now can grow your you so yeah as i told you as a service now architecture it is not only to where it is yeah it is not only to service management like incident problem change it has now business management operations secops hr customer service hr you all know like if we have joined some organization and there is some onboarding and offboarding of the resources or uh, bank roll up bank payroll update so you will be dedicated to some particular portal where you will be logging there you will be getting your pay slip details you will uh, getting your own information so these are all happening to hr and now companies are using service now uh, as a hr tool where because it will it will make you your life easier it will automate like you will you will get everything at this one page so if you see the url sometime in your organization maybe you might your organization might be using hr you can see servicenow.com at the end you can identify that this is a service now or you have raised some ticket for some incident you can see um, it is service now or not it is using some other tools so you can use check it from the url now customer support customer service like if you have any issue you will raise a ticket so that also service supported by service now secops which i told you banking most of the banking people are using this like audits research risk threat so these are all used by the banking sector like if you got a project from walmart or any other banking sector then this grc and secops will be their first priority apart from the service management so if you are going to some banking domain then service management and secops should be your first priority to learn this is the basic one you need to learn this because it has all the details and it is extended version of secops same way service now is service management extended version of itbm same way itom so this is what service now is now is a 360 degree and uh, you can learn a lot like from project and portfolio management suppose you want to become a ba in the upcoming future so and you want to automate yourself like you want to design your own uh, story stories or your story point or uh, acceptance criteria everything that can be done in the service now you have to create one table and there uh, as per your requirement and you can store everything uh, as a ba what what you are doing so i have no idea what we are doing because i am uh, implementer and developer so i have no idea because i am we are getting a requirement from the ba so yeah this is for the business analyst most of the time they are maintaining the projects uh, they are taking the scrum calls so this comes for them and for us service management itom secops hr and last itbm so the priority one will be service management second will be secops third will be itom where you will be dealing with the settings of the cloud you are doing the mapping of the items and the last will be uh, itbm after that hr if you want to learn hr you can learn because now market is booming like they want hr resources so yeah we have this you can see i can share this uh, ppt later on you can go through it you can see how service now is uh, dealing with all this stuff so yeah i have put some few of the major customers which uh, so they are using service now like you can see netflix netflix is uh, hosted over the service now platform so as a app you are downloading that is from the service now end which is available over the app store or play store so netflix is also using service now for if you are raising a ticket or if you are if you have some refund issue or if you have payment issue this goes to the service now end uh let's take an example of facebook which i told you now they have shifted it to a uh, service now for raising the ticket raising your concern security concern if you are reporting any any post that will go to the service now table and there some data will be assigned to the other organization uh, assigned to the security team and they will check it so same way like dell uh, so there are this is just a number 
just I showed you, these are million mode. They're like Airbus, Airbus roof Russia. These all are using uh, service now for maintaining their all the data. They, they are creating their data. So the best example was Airbus, uh, Airbus France. They are completely into service now because earlier I worked with Airbus France. Whatever the data they wanted to man get manipulated using catalog. So we have created for them as a website and a catalog also and the indications also we have done for them. So now it has it is live. You can go to the Airbus France and you can check their website. These are all developed over the service now and how the data are. You can see that. So which we have developed a few years back, I guess one one and a half year back. So yeah, this is one of the most amazing customer Airbus. Now we have uh, American Express credit card where the, all the data will be stored in their service now portal. So this is just an example which I'm telling you. Your company might also be here. Like Accenture is also be a part of. Uh, so this now is a premium partner Accenture, not even premium, it's an allied partner now. So they are, they are using service now since 10 years now. So same way, there are a lot of, lot of clients, lot of customers now looking for service now because it is very easy to learn. It is very easy to store data. Yeah. So the last topic which I'm going to tell you the last is version release. So earlier what it used to be service now is upgrading themselves in two in what you call it, in two releases like in every year the two releases will occur like if you see in 2011 there's a one release after that in uh, 2013 we have uh, this one so in 10 to 12 month cycle now it is 10 to 12 month cycle means in one year they will upgrade themselves to english alphabetical letter now it is room after that it is cubic so something like that so they will they will provide you the now in 2022 it is san diego earlier it used to be 2011 means one release 2012 means one release now from i guess from 2014 in every six months they have they are upgrading their instances so there will be a release every six months now so now it is rome currently and now it will be san diego in the upcoming 2022 march or april so earlier it used to be one cycle now it is two cycle a year so this should this you should keep in mind which version you are using uh, when you use service now so now if you are installing anything over your system so, uh, sorry when you are logging anything in your system you will see the version there which i will show you when you will have the personal development instance so it will give you the releases future release a hot fix they will do the fixes of the security and they will do the releases, patch release and future release, same way. So this is how service now versioning is going to happen. So in every year, there will be a two release based on the English alphabetical letter. So it is S P P Q R S T. The next T will be in the December month of 2022. So same way. So if all the letters will over till Z, then again, they will start with A. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you.